Liverpool. And this is what Liverpool wanted to do is that they wanted to... Liverpool wanted to make a statement here because I think especially coming off the disappointments of um, the Community Shield where they lost that, I think it was important for them to make a, 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 a statement in this game. And I think what you saw here, and I think Liverpool played a very risky game. Because I, I was looking at, I was because again for my day job, you know, I do some sports analysis for my for my day job. I'm looking at the press conference, and Jurgen Klopp said in his press conference, "I want Liverpool to be a team that other teams fear to play." That's what he said. He said, "I want Liverpool to be a team that others fear to to to, to play." So my thinking is that is Jurgen Klopp gonna say, you know what, scrap the whole conservative approach. We are gonna go full-on direct energy and we're going to pretty much attack in every single game we're not we're no, more, we're no longer going to second guess because i believe in the security of a van dyke and gomez we're going to go full-on i think in this game against norwich norwich pretty much had felt the full bronze of the geigen press liverpool attack because liverpool played very high they played very high and they put norwich under a lot of pressure and norwich's passing system and i get it it's nice and pretty but their passing system was was the complete wrong tactic to play against a team who knows how to press well, have great energy, understand how to win the ball, and are devastated on the counter-attack. So I thought for Norwich, you had to go long. You had to go long. Make make the right pass and look for the ball over the, the top. But there were too many shots passed that, that Norwich were playing. And Henderson, Wijnaldum, Firmino, all these guys were just able to hound them down, Fabinho as well, and beat them. So very few times Norwich got the ball over the top, especially on the left-hand side. But it was, <laughs> it was bad. And look, I get it. 20 max. 20 max. That's what I'm saying. 20 max because Salah is up and running. He's up and running. You know, Salah, you know, because, because Salah knows that I'm 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 on his, his case. Um if because if Salah ends up in the top scorers chats, even if he was joined top scorer last season, if Salah becomes top scorer for three seasons in a row. Has anyone ever done that in, in the Premier League? Because, look, I will never deny that this guy is just a natural goal, goal scorer. As in, if you just look at the combination he had with Firmino, the dude is just a flipping natural goal scorer. But I think what you, what you just saw from Liverpool there is that was not Liverpool at their best. That was not, that was not, not them at their best, you know. Um, I think there were far too many crosses into the box, especially from Robertson. The crosses were a bit wayward. But I think for Liverpool, especially in this game, I think once they just got the ball on the ground and they moved the ball on the ground and they played shots past it and they kept it on, on the grass, not once in the air, Norwich found it almost difficult to, to, to stop them. And the and I think you just saw how... See, this was Firmino at his best. Now, did Norwich allow Firmino to be at his best? Who knows? But whenever the ball got... See, whenever the ball got to Robertson or Alexander-Arnold... The crosses were a bit wayward, and I was like, there's no point in crossing into the box for guys who are not lethal in the air. But once they got that ball to Firmino's feet, Norwich, they didn't know what to do because Firmino's movement was so good. His ability, his movement on the ball was so good. He was able to evade tackles. He was able to, to turn, look, play with his head up. And how he would just bring in other guys into the game, it was very tough for your boys Norwich to, to really break it through. So I just think Liverpool's pressing game was problematic for Norwich. And I just think for Norwich, man... I repeat to myself, you've just been promoted. You've just been promoted from the championship. You have to show some respect to the Champions League winners and Jurgen Klopp's tactic. Okay? Because if you know that you're Norwich and you're coming in and you're playing away from home, you have to know these guys will come and press you and attack you. You have to know. And the Norwich manager, you're German. You're flipping German, so you should know that Klopp, being the superior team, because if he's like the inferior team or a medium team, he may try the conservative approach. But knowing he's the superior team, knowing how Klopp plays, you must know this guy's going to press high, have a high line, and put a lot of pressure on you guys. So if you know that you're the inferior team, who gives what gives you the right to start instructing your players to not play short balls? You know, short balls that could be very susceptible to the to the Liverpool press. Get the ball and get just use those long just use those long balls. But I think. Beyond that, the defending from Norwich was just, it was atrocious. Like, the position was all over the, the place. They didn't follow the, 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 the runners. Just the ease with which Liverpool got that ass was worrying. See, for me, 
I don't think Norwich should be worried about it because like this from the Norwich I saw, this is a good team. This is a good team because you should only judge them when they face against a Crystal Palace, when they face against a Sheffield United, when, when, when they face against guys in and around. around them. That's when you should, against Bournemouth. That's when you should judge them. You can't judge them against one of the best teams in Europe. Well, the best team in Europe. <laughs> but I just think it's just so naive that you're playing against the best team in Europe and you think you can just pass the ball and play from the back. Are you sick in the head? Especially when you're away from home. But for Liverpool, yeah, look, it could have been, it could have been worse. It could have been, it could have been five, six, or seven. Another thing, like for Liverpool, um, they didn't really have to play at a high gear. They didn't have Sadio Mane on the left. Origi had a fine game. He still is not natural on the left. Origi is still not natural on the left, but Origi did have a very fine game. And what I always say about Origi is that this guy is a natural goal scorer. The dude is a natural flipping goal scorer. And I really believe that Klopp should put more faith in because it's it's difficult. But I do think that there are games in which Firmino may not be effective. And there are games in which Origi may be a better option than, than Firmino. See, in this game, Firmino was great. Because Norwich didn't really know how to defend. But just how Firmino was used and how he played with the ball to fit and him utilizing the ball to fit, he was effective. But there are games in which... Or that defense will not allow Firmino that time and space. They will not allow him to turn with the ball. They will not even allow him to get the, the ball to his feet. And they will force him to play with his back to goal. Firmino wasn't playing with his back to goal. He was able to turn because the, the defender of Norwich was so bad. He was able to get the ball, turn and move. But against other defenses that are much better, higher IQ, Arnold and your boy Robertson brings in. So, But Norwich did get a gem. That was a very nice goal from Puki. Puki. That's his name. Okay, his name is, is Pookie, so I don't know whether he's the 151st Pokemon or not, but that sounds like a Pokemon name. That's just me. That sounds like a Pokemon name. So, yeah, look, um, extremely once. <sighs> Do you know what it was? Liverpool are just better. It was very one-sided, but as one-sided as it was, Norwich did play some good stuff. Like, I do like some of the football that play, they play, because I think even if you're an inferior team, what I look for is, do you play good football? Do you pass the ball around? Are there nice, pretty passes? Do you try and impose a technical approach to the game? And I definitely saw that. It's just that the tactics were wrong, and they're just an inferiority. But I think Liverpool are just better. And I just think, like, when Origi, Salah, and so forth, when they were on the ball in dangerous spaces, they were, they were just smarter with the ball. And I think the Norwich defenders were unable to be able to pretty much um, outwit and out outsmart and outthink the kind of movements and the footballing de decisions that Salah, Origi, Firmino, Wijnaldum and, and so forth played. Henderson tried. So the, Henderson is holding his own. You know, I see I'm on and off with Henderson. I'm still on and off with Henderson, but eh, Henderson's eye. Henderson is eye. So um yeah man, good good starts for Liverpool. Again, does this now say or oh, they will they will definitely win every game. It's, it's, it's hard to judge how Liverpool do for the rest of the season. This was an easy game. This was a really easy game from Liverpool, but at the same time, all you can do is just beat what is in front of you. But it was a very easy game, and Norwich, being a team that has newly promoted, you're expected to beat them, and they had the wrong tactics to, to, to play. But I want to see more of Norwich before I see that these, these guys will get relegated. Um, but, um, Bray, guys, money, money can ball. Saudi money can ball. <laughs> that boy can... Sadio Mane, look, the guy came on. Look at how sharp the boys. He's the best. He's the best natural football player in Liverpool. Salah is the is the top goal scorer, but Mane is that dude. That's what it is. Mane is is is, is simply that dude. So um, so that's what it is. So in the and also Allison, I don't know how long he'll be injured for, but we'll just have to wait and see. So in the live chat, I want you guys to tell me who would you vote for that dude of the game. Who would you vote for Brick of the Game? So in the chat box, that's dude and Brick, Brick, Brick of the Game. And in the comments below, for those of you watching after this is this live is done, in the comments below, tell me Brick of the Game, that's dude. Tell me Brick of the Game and that dude. Um, so yeah, um, 